Hey, I'm Lauren Schaefer and I'm coming to you today from gorgeous Mexico and I want to take just a minute and let you know about Stitch's new automated GitHub deployments. Now this is a super handy feature that allows you to automatically deploy changes to your Stitch application whenever you push changes to your GitHub repository. Now I want to give you a demo because I think that's going to make things a lot more clear for you. So let me head inside where it's a little quieter and show you what I mean. I've created a website for the imaginary store, Goods and Stuff. It's a place where you can buy all of your goods and stuff. Now the store sells a variety of items and one of those is Ron's Custom Canoe. And as you can see here, the price of the canoe is currently $55. I'm hosting this website using Stitch Hosting, which is now GA, which is pretty exciting. And I've gone ahead and set up automated GitHub deployments. So let's say that Ron's custom canoes are selling really well, so we've decided to increase the price. So what I'd want to do is head over to my code editor and update the price of the canoe. Let's say we're going to make it $60. Now, in a real system, you would likely not store the price of the hard-coded value inside of a static HTML page. Instead, you'd probably dynamically pull it out of a database. But for the sake of a simple example, we're just hard-coding the price here. So I'll save that change. And in order to deploy it, I need to push that change to the master branch of my GitHub repository. So what I can do is stage the change, add a commit message like increase the price, commit the change, and then push it to my GitHub repository. Let's head on over to the deploy page to see what's happening. We can see my deploy is currently pending Let's refresh the page, and we can see that my deploy was successful. There's a handy action you can use here to view your GitHub commit. So let's take a look at that. And we can see exactly what was changed as part of this deployment. In this case, we just changed the price from $55 to $60. So now let's head back to our website, refresh our page, and we can see the price of Ron's custom canoe is now $60. That's a pretty handy way to update your website. Now what I showed you here today is how to update your static hosted files like canoe.html. But you've got a lot of flexibility here with your automated GitHub deployments. So changes to things like your auth providers, your functions, your hosting, which is what we saw today, your services and your values will be automatically deployed. As soon as you start using this feature, you're gonna start getting value out of it. Where I think you're going to get the most value is when you start tying it in with your continuous integration, continuous delivery tools. Maybe you're using Jenkins, maybe you're using Travis, maybe you're using GitHub Actions, new CI CD tools, maybe you're using something else. Whatever you're using, tie this in to your processes. So let's talk about what that process might look like. Perhaps you have a personal branch, and that's where when you finish up with your changes, your teammates are going to do your code review. When that passes, you're gonna to push to your integration branch. That's where all of your integration tests, all of your automated tests are gonna run. If those pass, your CI CD tool is gonna to automatically push those changes to your master branch. And that's where the Stitch GitHub automated deployment is gonna kick in. It's gonna take those changes and automatically deploy them to your Stitch application for you. All right, that's all I have for you today. Be on the lookout for my next video where I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up and get it configured successfully. See you soon.